everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artists and Power here, and in today's fun project video, I'm going to show you guys how I do production work over on the scroll saw. Production work is a great way to make multiples of a project, especially if you get a big order like I have here. I've done production work in the past. I've made bulk order Christmas ornaments, bulk order book dividers for a local used bookstore. Really awesome and a great way to just knock out multiples of a project. I've already got everything ready for the first run and then I'll show you how I do the rest of the work as well in this video I've stacked four pieces of quarter inch plywood together and got our pattern attached with clear packing tape and what this pattern is is a honeycomb plant trellis for this company that asked me to make 20 of these the company's name is Mystic Roots and they're doing a bunch of great work in the plant community and also just in the Alamance County community in general for Burlington and the neighboring areas. Really awesome. I'll put a link to their Instagram page down in the description box below and hopefully you guys will get to meet them later on down the line. What they're wanting to do is for their springtime projects get these honeycomb plant trellises in their plants. That's what these two stakes are for for it to go down into the soil really awesome and I've also got a piece you can see it kind of poking out here of poster board sticking out and that is going to be key in how I do production work like I said we collaborated on this design and I'm really happy to do this and really happy to show you guys how to do production work on the scroll saw ideally this would be good for a CNC machine or laser engraver but I'm happy with doing it on the scroll saw but since we've got everything ready let's go over to the workbench drill our pie holes with the drill so we can start scrolling and knocking this order out. And over here on the workbench, I'm going to take a small drill bit and drill all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. Again, we're going to knock out four layers of quarter inch plywood at a time. And then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And even though the material measures up to an inch thickness, the number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades that I'm using are still cutting amazingly smooth. It's just a little bit slower of a cut with the thickness of all the material stacked together. Going through here and doing all of the internal cutting. And for anyone curious, the tension on my blade is a 3.5. And the speed of the scroll saw is between a 5 and 6. Going to begin the final long outside cut to release these four pieces from the wood. I was really happy to take on this project for Mystic Roots Company. They're doing amazing things in the community. And also my grandfather was a licensed beekeeper. So doing all these honeycombs made me think of him and relive a lot of fond memories. Coming around here I can feel the blade getting dull and I was actually going to stop and change it but then the blade actually broke and I had to put a new one in but I went with another number five reverse tooth blade and I finished taking them out and now we have our first four of 20 pieces done We'll remove them from the waste wood and there we have one two three four and now the poster board acts as our pattern for the next set it just saves a lot of computer ink when you do it this way and I'm gonna measure four the length of the piece and go over to the bandsaw and knock out a bunch of blanks I am no bandsaw expert this is mainly what I use the bandsaw for to rip down stock to smaller pieces to use on the scroll saw but I'm gonna go on and make a bunch of blanks for the honeycomb plant trellises so I can keep on working Then we'll head back over to the workbench and put another piece of poster board for another pattern in the middle of all the four layers and I'll just use clear packing tape to hold the pattern down and hold everything together and clear packing tape also acts as a lubricant for the scroll saw blade and keeps it cool while cutting. And then 
I will start again with the drill and it is just a rinse and repeat of everything we've already done and I'm only going to cut out eight and sand eight in this video I will be making all 20 in this same manner but now it's back over to the scroll saw to do the same scrolling we did previously if you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at artisan pirate and also follow mystic roots all of our information is down in the description box below coming around here to complete 8 of 20 and this is just my preferred way of doing production work on the scroll saw we'll remove these five six seven eight and another pattern ready for the next set but we will take these eight over to the other work table and sand it with the palm sander with 100 grit sandpaper front and back and I'll do some finer detail sanding off camera and I'll get ready to go on to the next set of four honeycomb plant trellises but for now that's all And here we have the very first eight of the 20 honeycomb plant trellises that I am making. It would be pointless to continue filming and showing you the process because it's just going to be a rinse and repeat of what you've already seen on film. So here is the very first eight. I will continue on in the same method as you've seen. I've already got my poster board stencil ready and more blanks ready to continue on once I turn the camera off. I'll turn the camera off, store it away and keep rocking and rolling and knocking the rest of these out. If my math is right, I think I've got about 12 more of these to make. So three more sets in total to cut out. Very awesome design. Um, I'm really happy with it and happy how they turned out. My grandfather was a beekeeper and he had honeycombs and everything to deal with um, beekeeping and that was really why I really wanted to do these for Mystic Roots also remember to follow Mystic Roots link to their Instagram pages down in the description box below hopefully when they finish these completely they will post a bunch of pictures of them so you can see the completed and final project I'm not staining or clear coating them that is up to Mystic Roots they just wanted me to cut out the basic shape so really excited to see what they do with these and how they use these in their classes and future projects really awesome again really happy and as I said I've already got a poster board stencil and more blanks ready to stack up and continue on on the scroll saw ideally this design is lending itself to a CNC machine or a laser engraver which would be better to knock them out repeatedly but again the design isn't that complicated I mean it's just basic geometric shapes so it's really easy to just put them together stack them up, get them taped together, get the pattern on it, and just knock them out on the scroll saw. There's actually more prep work than it is actually scroll work on this project, so you can really knock them out quickly. If you get into a nice rhythm, I turn the music on and get lost in my world. I hope you guys learned something on production work on the scroll saw in this video. That's about all for this one. I'm going to get back to making these. Remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.